Ladies and gentlemen, students designated in your programs with a diamond by their name or our graduates with a 3.0 or higher and their honor is signified by the gold cord around their necks. Will these students please rise? On May 10, 2011, the class of 2011 was recognized with awards and scholarships. The value of the scholarships received by the class of 2011 is $499,000. Congratulations to all graduates who received a scholarship. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a pleasure to introduce to you our scholar graduates, beginning with Cum Laude Awards, and those are for students who have earned between a 3.50 and a 3.69 GPA throughout high school. This award is signified by the black ribbon and the gold medallion of honor. Six students of the class of 2011 have earned this award. If they will please stand and remain standing as I recognize them. Tiffany Alexander. Nia Gales. Alexis Green. Robert Sellers. David Walters. The next group, Magna Cum Laude Awards, are for those students who have earned between a 3.70 and a 3.89 GPA throughout high school. This award is signified by the red ribbon and the gold medallion of honor. Three students of the class of 2011 have earned this award. If they would please stand or remain standing as I recognize. Leanna Borton. Thomas Edwards and Katie Kreitman. Thank you. You may be seated. The final group, the Summa Cum Laude Award, are for those students who have earned between a 3.90 and a 4.0 GPA throughout high school. This award is signified by the black and red ribbon and a gold medallion of honor. Five students of this class have earned this award if they would stand and remain standing as they recognize. Ashley Hamilton. <laughs> Juliet Johnson. <laughs> Michelle Lowry. <laughs> Josh Mitchell and Jet Thomas. Thank you. You may be seated. Poor Matt. He didn't get to cheat like everybody else. I would like to thank all of the family, friends, faculty, and staff, and honored guests here tonight, and those wishing they could be here tonight for supporting the class of 2011 as they walk across this field, taking their last steps before the beginning of their future and for the last four years. I know the road from freshman year to the end destination, graduation tonight, has been tough on everyone, not only the students. I have seen cases where our teachers, such as Mr. Perez and Ms. K, have been through torturous events from our senior class that may be considered cruel and unusual punishment by some. <laughs> Even though we did what we did, our teachers never gave up on us once. 
Mr. Perez offers and has offered for years tutoring before school and during lunch to help us understand the mathematical material required to pass the class and improve our math grades. He is even willing to help those of us taking math as a dual enrollment course at Northwestern State University located at Fort Polk. Ms. Kay is dedicated to the success of the class of 2011 as well. I know from my experience that Ms. Kay has helped many of the Northwestern students with their English papers assigned to us by Professor Talby for a 200 point grade. For my first paper, I was at a loss coming up for a topic. I had a topic in mind, yet I could not narrow it down enough to get a comprehensive paper that was understandable at the same time. Ms. Kay helped me narrow down the topic. She even proofread my paper for me, which made it even better. On behalf of the senior class, I know we all say thank you, teachers, for all the help and support you have given us over the last four years. Without your hard work and dedication, some of us would not be here tonight preparing to become Pickering High School graduates and take our lives into our own hands. And parents, friends, and family, thank you for the support and guidance you have offered over the last four years as well. Tonight I believe that many of you feel even prouder than those of us here tonight preparing to take our last steps as high school seniors across this field. You may even have the right. I know that my parents and family have been there for me. When times got tough, they found the strength to give me a helping hand. There are no telling how many projects that they have helped me complete through my school. Without their help, support, and guidance, I would not be here standing before you preparing for my future. Some of you may even feel a sense of worry about your seniors here. You have to believe that we will make the right choices and that you have instilled us with the skills and values to succeed in life. Some of us may even be worried about going out into the world on our own. For those I say that you will not be alone. You will not only have your family, you will have the family that you have created yourself through your support systems made up of your friends, teachers, and other family friends. You also have to have the faith that you will make the right choices and for the wrong ones, you will learn from them. Without our support systems we have, we would not have made it this far. I believe if we have made it this far, there's no telling how far we can make it from here. There's one last person I would like to thank. I would like to thank God for helping us accomplish all that we have. Through God's strength, I have, as well as many others, made it to tonight. He has given me the help I have needed to be here tonight, a graduating senior of 2011. He is also making it possible for me to continue my education and achieve my ultimate dreams and goals. Seniors, I would like to leave you with an encouraging word. Through life's journey, we come across many friends that help guide us toward the straight path. There may be obstacles at times, but you have to show determination and strength to push through and overcome those placed in your path. There will be challenges, and with hard work and encouragement, you will get through them and move forward with your dreams and plans for life. So look up to the future, set goals, do not give up on your dreams, and give support and encouragement to those who need it. I believe that we can accomplish anything now that we have come this far. Remember, you may be guided to a straight path, but only you can decide the path you take, and the path may not always be the most traveled one. You might have to step off the comfortable one and take the one less traveled by, because it is not about where you are going or how long it takes you. It's about the journey that takes us there. So once again, I would like to thank everyone for their hard work, dedication, guidance, and support that has helped us get to the one of get to one of the biggest and most important days in our lives. Also, thank you all for coming tonight to share this special memory with us. And seniors, let us make tonight a night to remember for everyone. Thank you.